Hello everybody. So this week's arrangement is inspired by the south of France, Provence, uh, and it's in fact the French flower market that really inspired um, how I started Freddy's Flowers in many ways. It inspired the packaging. And uh, you'd often go to these flower markets and you would come back with a lovely piece of brown paper stuffed full of chic flowers like gladioli. Uh, so that really inspired me to actually start Freddy's Flowers with the essence that you then bring your flowers home and arrange them yourself into a vase. So that's a fun little piece of information for you. Uh, and in the arrangement, we do have two wonderful different types of gladioli. We've got this uh, burgundy beast, which is called a fat boy. And then we have a slightly hotter pink variety, sorry, the door slammed a slightly hotter pink variety called Fairy Tail, and the combination of these two colors is pretty great. So two really nice shades of gladioli there. We then have a magnificent oriental lily. This variety is called a dalian, and it opens up into a very nice sort of dusty pink color, which again works really well with the gladioli. Next on the agenda is, are ah, some bullet alliums. Uh, bullet alliums, Alliums are from the onion family. They do emit a bit of a pong when you, when you trim them, you'll really smell why. Uh, but they start off life looking a bit like this, so they arrive quite small on arrival. Um, but over the course of three or four days, all of these little flower heads will start to grow and grow and grow, and they'll actually sort of double in height, and end up looking a bit more like that, which is quite fun to watch. So that's a bullet allium. And finishing it off, we have some limonium, which is also called or known as sea lavender. Uh, it's got, you know, I like to think it's sort of sea lavender, it's got this amazing shimmering look to it, almost as if you're looking at it through water, which I think is rather nice. And it does start to give off a slightly almost seaweedy scent over a few days. So you've got a lovely scent combination here of onions and seaweed. Uh, the lilies balance it out, so no worries there. Right, so to arrange, uh, first of all, of course, Make sure you have room temperature water, about a third full. Pop in your flower food, swill it around. Then trim a lovely diagonal inch off the end of all your stems, very important. And then we're gonna begin with our lilies facing opposite each other. Bang, very good start. There we go. Next, I am going to take my fairy tale gladioli and I'm gonna create an even triangle uh, around the edge and I'm now making an even pentagon, I suppose, with my lilies and my gladioli. And this is a very nice structural stem grid to build from now into the middle. Which you will now witness with my burgundy fat boy gladioli. I'm gonna stand them up a little more centrally using the stem grid for support. So in these slots, like so. Very nice too. Upright. Now we take the limonium and we're just gonna fill out the middle with the limonium so you can pop the stems in the center and it just gives it a nice bit of fill. Just find a nice spot there. Very easy. Upright, little stand. There we go, so that's giving a nice bit of texture and oomph to the middle. And now you'll find that you can just look over the top and just drop your alliums wherever you fancy through the center. And because you've got this nice nest of limonium in the middle, you'll find they stand upright very, very easily and they just sort of loll around a bit, which is rather nice. There we go. Three bullet alliums dropped in the middle, a bit shorter than your gladioli. Uh, so this is an arrangement which really does need uh, four or five days. It will be looking its best after about a week. The gladioli will uh, burst open from the bottom to the top. Uh, as the bottom one starts to open, you can carefully remove the flower heads, which will encourage the top ones to open. The bullet aliens will grow, the lilies will burst open, and you're in for a riot of colour. So I hope it brightens your home, and hope you enjoy it. <laughs>